Hello, there you go. Good morning. Good morning. Um, apologies for the, the slightly late start. We're having some uh, uh, content issues. Um, uh, let's go to the announcements. Uh, Jesus left Chicago and it's bound for New Orleans. Well, you already heard that. Uh, so let's uh, move on to the rest. If you have a prayer request, um, please, uh, that, that you would like uh, to be included um, in today's service, please hand uh, the yellow cards to a deacon during the passing of the peace portion of the service. Uh, if you don't want the prayer to be made public, but would like the pastors uh, to, uh, to pray for you, please place the yellow card in the offering plate. As you know, we uh, have several ways in which you can contribute financially to the church. You can uh, put your offer in your check um, in, 
the offering plate uh, also, you can uh, do that electronically, especially if you're following the stream from home via Zelle or PayPal. The address for that is donate at springfieldpresbyterian.org. Um, thank you, the uh, Rublin Jazz family, for hosting fellowship. Um, was it difficult? No. no. So listen to what she's saying. It's not difficult. So that means that any of you can actually do it. Uh, please do sign up for uh, fellowship hour for the month of July and August, for the rest of July and August. The sign-up sheet is in uh, uh, the chapel, in the gathering room. Early announcement. I know September seems like a long uh, way off, but please mark your calendars, save the date for September 17. September 17, that's our Rally Sunday. Please make an effort to be here. Uh, it's going to be a full program with food, my favorite subject. <laughs> We continue to deal with the township of Springfield um, in getting all the permits uh, we need to operate the Shed Alliance food pantry and kitchen. We made some progress, but we're not there yet. So while we wait for that, um, we are um, moving forward with other initiatives. One that was recently discussed with a session and we presented last year is the after school home uh, called ash after school home which we would like to start in september uh, when the school year begins if you're interested in getting more information in volunteering helping supporting sustaining and so on uh, please talk to me you can do that after church or we can meet for a um, you know more uh, extended time uh, during the week at the parish house. Are there any other announcements? No? Nope? We're good. All right. Join me now uh, for the invitation to worship. Come into this sacred space to worship God. Whose direction are sure, whose direction is perfect. Come into this holy place to worship God. Come into this peaceful sanctuary to have your heart stirred and your eyes opened. Let the words of our mouth and the whispering of our hearts be according to your will, O God. Amen. Our opening hymn is God, the Sculpture of the Mountains. You can find it in the Glory to God hymnal number five, or you can follow along with the monitor. Okay. Okay. So this is not a hymn we are all familiar with. So uh, they're going to uh, play it through once, and then the second time we will all join together. All right. All right.
Time for children. Coming up, guys. <clears throat> you can sit there. So here's the thing. I, uh, I forgot to brush my teeth this morning. Uh, so I thought I'd do that now. <laughs> can I have that water over there, please? Thanks. Can you hold the water? I'm going to spit in that in a minute, so be ready. <laughs> oh, no! I put way too much on here. Now what? Can you put this back in the tube? You want to try? <laughs> you want to try? Try it, Chris. Put it back in the tube. You can do it. You want to try it? <laughs> Adora, you want to try? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But. <laughs> It's not going in. Yeah. <gasps> Nothing. Where's that glass of water? All right, let's put, let's put the toothpaste and the, and the toothbrush in the water. Yeah. OK, that's good. That's good. You can leave it there. All right. This is what is known as an object lesson. What is the object? What is the point of my lesson? Once you say something that's hurtful, you can't take it back. Once you say something that's unkind, you can't take it back. Once you say something that's mean or cruel or bullying or critical or judgmental, you can't take it back. So we're going to be talking about that in scripture today because love is kind. Love is patient. It's never boastful or arrogant or rude. It doesn't insist on its own way. So when you think about talking with your friends and your family and even people in town, think before you say something so you make sure that you don't hurt anybody else's feelings because that you can't take back. The good news is, is that even if you do, God will clean up your toothbrush so you can start all over again through forgiveness. You with me? All right, remember that prayer we did a couple weeks ago? Good, I'm going to repeat it, and you guys are going to help repeat it with me, right? So let's pray. I'm going to pray first, and you all repeat after me. Ready? Dear God. Dear God. We love you. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. For loving us. For loving us. Help us. Help us. To think. To think. Before we speak. Before we speak. And if. And if we say something hurtful, we say something hurtful, help forgive us. Help forgive us. Please help those. Please help those who are sick. Who are sick. Sad. Sad. Hungry. Hungry. Or lonely. Or lonely. Amen. Amen. All right, and go back to your seats. I really did brush my teeth before I came here this morning, I just want to say. All right, it's um, that time in our worship service when we reflect a little bit about um, where we are <clears throat> with our conscience. Um, oh, in all Catholic tradition, there used to be a thing called the examination of conscience, right? So, but this is a good time uh, uh, to do it together. So um, let us pray the prayer of confession together and then uh, take a minute to reflect on our own shortcomings and ask God for forgiveness. Let us pray together. Loving Lord, Lord who makes, makes all things, things new, new, take, take my, my heart, heart, every hardened edge and measured beat, beat every, every harsh word or thought, or thought, and create something, something new in me. me. 
make me a part parts of me made smooth. smooth. The stagnant parts stirred. The stuck freed. freed. The, the unkind forgiven. forgiven. And, and then, then, by the power of the of Holy Spirit, Spirit turn, turn me toward to love again. again. The God who knew us before our birth loves us still and strengthens us that we will one day be blameless. Through the gift of Jesus Christ, God offers grace, mercy, and the chance to start all over again. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Amen. Amen. Help uh, tear up a little bit hearing you all play. Such an inspiration. But uh, Jesus just left Chicago, but he's been sitting on the tarmac for four days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Friends, peace of Christ be with you. And also with you. Let's share a, uh, a peace of Christ with one another. Peace be with you.
Such a happy time when we are able to share the peace of Christ with one another. Let us pray together. O oh Lord, our God, your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to, to our, our path. path. Give, Give us, us grace, grace to receive your truth in faith and love. love. Through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, our Lord. Savior. Amen. Amen. I'm going to be reading a version of Psalm 19 <clears throat> that comes from uh, a, a wonderful uh, a book that uh, Pastor Jen has shared with me. I'm, I'm a f big fan now. Good. Big, big fan. So it's a reinterpretation of, of the Psalms by Nan Merrill. Listen for the word of the Lord. The law of love is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of love is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of love are right, rejoicing the heart. The authority of love is pure, enlightening the eyes. The spirit of love is glorious, enduring forever, awakening compassion. More to be desired are than gold, sweeter also than honey and dripping of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them, the loving are guided. In keeping them, there is great reward. But who can discern their own weaknesses? Cleanse me, O Lord, from all my hidden faults. Keep us from boldly acting in error. Let our fears and illusion not have dominion over us. Then we shall become a positive presence freely and fully surrendered to your love. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart find favor in your heart, O oh, my beloved, my strength and my joy. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The New Testament reading comes from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 13. If I speak in the tongues of humans and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains that do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. And as for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will also come to an end. Will you pray with me? O oh Lord, may your words not be diluted, but strengthened in order that we are moved to your love and to your service. Amen. Amen. As we continue our monthly worship theme of building bridges, Paul, in the last verse of last week's chapter, says, and soon I will teach you a more excellent way. Mm. The more excellent way is chapter 13. The challenge is we don't think about chapter 13 as for the church. When do we think about this text? Wedding. Weddings. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Every pastor I know, or I've not asked Roberto, but I'm sure he agrees, most pastors say that weddings are a pain, give me a good funeral any day. <laughs> because when there are weddings, 
Someone's always late. Someone's always forgotten something. Someone's always drunk. Somebody is trying to micromanage the pastor. Someone doesn't like the music. And by the time you get to this text and you look at the bride and groom, they are completely glazed over. <laughs> They're exhausted. They just want to get to the reception. And so to choose this text for brand new newlyweds who have no idea what it's like to be married is just kind of silly. But here's why it's fun to preach this text at a wedding. Because while the bride and groom are glazed over, those who've been married for a long time are either smiling and nodding like you are or elbowing a spouse. Did you hear that? Yeah. I heard a study over the weekend out of Egypt, of all places, and the question was, what's the main source of divorce in Egypt? The three options were reloading the dishwasher, like we talked about last week, in-laws, or candy crush. All right, hands up if it's reloading the dishwasher. What do you think? If, hands up if you think it's reloading the dishwasher. Okay, hands up if it's the in-laws. All right, hands up if you think it's Candy Crush. The answer, Candy Crush. <laughs> candy Crush, and the reason why is spouses use that to avoid arguments, avoid conversations, avoid conflict, and not work through the difficult issues. But Paul here, is not interested in talking about a wedding text. He is here to tell us about how to be in the church. Paul and the psalmist are speaking about God's word, God's desire, and God's call on all of our lives. Now, in Psalm that Roberto just read so beautifully, Nan Merrill uses the word love. But the original text from the NRSV is the Lord. The law of the Lord is perfect. The Lord's precepts are right. The commandment of the Lord is clear. The love of the Lord is pure. Ordinances of the Lord are right. The Lord, my friends, is the focus of that text end of 1 Corinthians 13. It's the same thing, actually, in 1 Corinthians 13, except Paul uses the word love. So what does this have to do with our community of faith? Friends, we can't build bridges within the church and seek to establish new bridges within the community without being patient and kind. We can't shore up bridges in this church and the greater community by being boastful or arrogant or rude or insisting on one's own way. But by the way, that's not just this church. That's every church. A challenge for the church, the church has been working on since Paul wrote this 2,075 years ago which means we've still got work to do. Four pastors were having a conversation recently, and they were debating which version was the best of the Bible. One pastor said, I love the King James because it has such beautiful old-fashioned English. It reminds me of my grandmother. Another pastor said, I like the New Revised Standard Version because it's the closest translation to the Hebrew and the Greek. Another more modern pastor said, I love the message version because it's modern. It's easy to understand. And the fourth pastor said, I love my mother's version. And they said, well, what version was your mother's? And he said, my mother's version was living out scripture each and every day in her life. It was the most convincing translation I ever saw. Friends, this stuff is not easy. And we are working hard to figure out where God is calling this church now and in the future. 
And for sure, part of that is building bridges. But if we build even the best thing ever and we have the rock band, which I think you guys should play out on the front steps, I think that'd be really cool the next time. I do, but we'll talk about that later. But if we don't treat each other interiorly with love and kindness and respect and honor, then there's no point to bringing in new people because the new people will come in the front door and the others will go out the back. So Chris, do you have my slide up? Thank you, kind sir. I'm gonna invite us all into an exercise and what I want us to do is to read this text together and everywhere it says love, you're gonna say I. You ready? I am patient. I am kind. I am not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. I do not insist on my own way. I am not irritable. I keep no record of wrongs. Friends, that is the goal. If we just repeat that each time we get together, in every staff meeting, in every session meeting, in every deacon meeting, in every time we get together, or before you have a difficult conversation with your spouse or your child, or that neighbor who still has your rake from 20 years ago, <laughs> then we have a much better chance of actually building up the church and strengthening the community. So friends, let's get that party started. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 amen? I don't know about you folks, but I'm, I'm kind of got convicted here. I, I think I, um, I need to do some work on, on, on my own. I don't know if you feel the same way. I hope you do. Let us uh, sing together. Lord, speak to me that I may speak. You can find that in uh, Glory to God 722 or follow along in the monitor. You may stand if you wish. seated. It's that time in our uh, worship service when uh, we pray. And uh, the way we do this here, 
is uh, if you have any prayer concerns, any joys, anything you would like to share, I'll pass around the microphone. You will say your prayer, at the end of which you will say, this is my prayer, and we will all respond, this is our prayer. Anyone? I think I know what you're going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I celebrate God today. Yes. He's been so good to my family. The surgery we've all been worried about came and went, and we didn't even know it had taken mm. place. She's doing well. She's Beautiful. using her stick to walk around. And um, the pain we're expecting is not really as much as we thought it would be. And um, to cap it all, I removed my stitches mm. on Friday. Beautiful. So it's all good now. Excellent. Praise God. This is my prayer. This is our prayer. We are so glad and looking, look forward to having both of you together in church. Anyone? Yes. So I have a, a prayer of thanks that um, the pilots brought home Charles safely to us. He returned back um, from Arizona on Friday. Um, prayers of um, wishes that my parents have a safe flight. They're flying out on Friday to come and be with us, so they'll be here in church with us next week. Um, prayers also for my mom. Um, she's going through some health problems right now, and uh, she's deathly afraid of needles, and she has to mm. have a transfusion this week. And so I'm praying that uh, she can find some inner peace to get through that. This is my prayer. This is our prayer. Colleen and Steve. Anyone else? I'm coming. <laughs> I'm just grateful even on this rainy day to have the Distortion Band with us again to have such a fun, <laughs> exciting worship service. Um, and I'm enjoying the vibe I'm getting from this church right now. I think the excitement and the drive is contagious, and uh, it's my prayer that this is what continues. This is my, this prayer. Is my prayer. This is this our, our prayer. prayer. So this coming Saturday, the 22nd, my daughter um, and her now fiance will be celebrating uh, with us and the, the, the whole family their engagement um, at, at our place. So we expect about 70 people. So pray for mercy uh, for, for me and my, and my wife. And uh, you know, there's a lot of moving parts in organizing a, a party like that. This is my prayer, God have mercy. I think we're good. Yes? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ignore you. That girl is back. The Minister of Music. Yes. Lilia Kobuskuba. Yes. This is my prayer. This is our prayer. Can you repeat that? I didn't quite hear. <laughs> Lilia is back. back. Yes. We missed her. She didn't even believe me when I said that to her. It's like, really? You hit the sign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Yes. Anyone else? All right. Uh, your daughter's name again is? Teresa. And the fiance? Ale. Friends, let's do what it is we do best. Loving Lord, even when we are impatient and unkind, you are loving and kind and patient with us. We give you thanks for Amaka having such a successful surgery and that she's virtually pain-free and that Uche can now take care of her with both hands, free of stitches. We ask your blessing on Ruth after a fall this week that has humbled her again, and she needs healing in her body. We're grateful for Charles' safe return 
to cooler climes in New Jersey. And for Colleen and Steve, as they wing their way east, as well as to have a procedure that's necessary, so take away the fear and anxiety. We thank you that love finds two young people and now celebrate their engagement. We pray for good weather and great connection among two families that now come together. We thank you for the Distortion Band and their energy and enthusiasm and their gifts. And we thank you for the growing excitement in this congregation of faith. We're grateful for all the talent and the care of this church, especially Lilia this day and Linda J, who came in and rescued us once again with technology this morning. We ask your blessing, O Lord, on all those things that are still lodged in our hearts and the worries that we have for those around the world. Our brothers and sisters in Ukraine, those in Russia who are against the war, those in Israel and Palestine who don't understand how to make peace, those who are enduring floods, unbearable heat in the West, unbearable marriages at home. So give strength, O Lord, to all parents whose children have nothing to do this summer because of lack of resources, so give us all an extra measure of appreciation for all that you do for us, especially the things that we never mention, like an air-conditioned sanctuary. So bless our brothers and sisters to the east and to the north and to the west and to the south, and show us how to build bridges so that everyone can understand and feel your unending, merciful love. We pray all these things in the prayer that you taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our debts sins. as we, we forgive, forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and, and the, the glory, glory forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray together this offering prayer. God's grace showers down upon us even when we are not aware. Let us show our awareness and gratitude by offering our gifts back to God through our tithes and offerings. Highway 61 revisited.
down Ohio in 61. Well, my finger said to Louis the King, I got 40 red and white and blue strings and a thousand telephones that don't ring. You know where I can get rid of these things. Then Louis the King said, let me think for a minute, son. And he said, yes, it can be easily done Just take everything down a highway 61 Now the fifth daughter on the twelfth night Told the first father that things weren't right He said, my complexion is much too white Come here and step into the light He says, mm, you're right, let me tell you this is done He was very bored Trying to create the next world war He found a promoter Nearly fell to the floor He said, I never engaged in this kind of thing before But yes, I think it can be very easily done Well, just put some bleaches out in the sun Let us pray together. Loving God and living Lord, we seek to show you our love by the gifts we return to you this day. Please accept these offerings as a sign of our gratitude for all that you are to us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Our closing hymn is Every Time I Feel the Spirit. You can find that in Glory to God 66 or follow along. It's an easy one in the monitor.
got started. Let's do it all again. Yeah, you guys stay yeah, another yeah, hour? Yeah. <laughs> As we continue to build bridges, find someone near that you can build a bridge to as we have the benediction together. We're trying to build a bridge. There you go. Perfect. A bridge. A line, a bridge. I got you. So, friends. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> there. You are love. God is relying on all of you to bring love to others mm -hmm. who desperately need it. Yes. Especially those whom no one loves. Mm -hmm. So friends, go out into the world and find love. Find someone who's hungering to hear God's spirit moving in our hearts as we pray mm -hmm. and bring them here so they can find the healing and the hope that we all desperately want and need for ourselves, our loved ones, our family, our friends, and again, especially those who no one loves. And let all God's people say, Amen. 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 Bye. 